for dessert. Let's cook some poached pears in a wine reduction sauce. We love Pinot, we drink Pinot and then we cook Pinot. So let's use some Pinot Noir for this recipe. So what we need, we need five firm and ripe pears, half cup of granulated sugar, a cinnamon stick, some nutmeg, gloves, a pinch of four spices, a vanilla pod, lemon zest, crème de cassis, you know how much I love this one, and then of course, some Pinot Noir, two cups of Pinot Noir. In a pan on medium high heat, I already poured the wine, the red wine, so then I'm adding the four spices, the vanilla pod split in two, cinnamon stick, gloves and granulated sugar. And let's finish by a little pinch of nutmeg and then some lemon zest. And then we are going to dissolve the granulated sugar in a wine for about 15 minutes until it's boiling. Now the next step is adding the pear. I've been peeled the pear and then peel uh, and then quarter as well. And so we are looking for pear very soft. So it's going to be 10 minutes or until soft at medium high heat. The pears are cooked after 10 minutes. So I put them in the fridge. And so now I'm trying to reduce this sauce with my secret weapon, adding two tablespoons of crème de cassis or liquor, the, I mean blackcurrant liquor, sorry. And then this is gonna be uh, like this until a consistency, a syrupy consistency. While the sauce is reducing, so we're gonna make the garnish, so the chantilly. So I'm, I'm doing a vanilla chantilly. So you get the cream, two cups of cream, and then a teaspoon of vanilla powder. And then remember the whisk is very cold, like the soup, and now, Done. So I'm going to reserve the chantilly in the fridge until the garn until the plating. And I'm sure you notice I haven't add any sugar because the wine sauce is already super sweet. This is exactly the perfect consistency we look for. So now finish. Done. Et voilà, our dessert is done. So see how different ways we can plate this dish with just one or two ingredients. This is pretty fun because you have from the traditional, more modern and then more, I mean, creative. But it will taste the same. Super good. As for wine, we look for something very concentrated, complex and really on the black foot. My pick of this one from the Domaine uh, Top Nomère. This is a Gevray Chambertin Premier Cru Bel Air. You're gonna love this combination. It's just magic. Okay, so happy Thanksgiving and so see you in another series and whatnot, my French Christmas feast.